Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. Hope you guys are doing good and I hope your tanks are doing good as well. Today I have a very special video for you guys. I'm going to Nature Aquarium in Culver City, California. They were previously in Santa Monica, but they moved to a new location, which pretty much means they have like a whole new store set up with a bunch of really cool nature aquarium stuff and display tanks and supplies and pretty much anything you can think of that's made specifically for the planet tank hobby. That's all they do. They don't sell saltwater fish or anything like that. They don't sell any other types of pets. All they sell is stuff for the planet tank hobby. So it's pretty much been everybody's go-to place in Los Angeles pretty much, Los Angeles County, uh, for a very, very long time for all their planet tank needs. And a lot of people like this store. If you look at the reviews online, people just love this place. And when I went the first time, I totally understood why. So I got about a 77 mile uh, long road trip ahead of me, and um, which I don't mind. I like road trips. It's gonna be kind of fun for me because I like traveling. So uh, we're gonna get on the road and head on over to Nature Aquarium in Culver City. So let's go. So since I'm going to be building a paludarium soon, as you guys can imagine, I was drawn towards all the paludarium displays at the store. And oh my gosh, let me tell you guys, these tanks were gorgeous. Look at this one. Just look at this living wall of plants inside this tank. It just looks so cool. And they kind of got this little waterfall effect going on as well. I just thought that added a really nice, uh, realistic touch. And you know, it kind of makes it possible for moss plants to grow on that uh, portion of the tank as well, because <laughs> the moss has to stay nice and moist. Um, something else that I was I was noticing in a lot of the paludariums at the store is there's driftwood in these tanks. And I never really thought about adding driftwood to a paludarium tank until I saw these ones. So I'm definitely going to consider adding driftwood to my future paludarium. But take a look at this one. This is like, this was so fascinating to me. It's just, it's so cool to see a tank that's like half land, half water type thing. You know, it's just, it looks so amazing to me. And there were so many gorgeous paludariums here at Nature Aquarium. But I think that this one in front of the store honestly topped everything. First of all, this paludarium looked like it had been growing for a very, very long time. But I really don't think it's that old because since they moved uh, their store from Santa Monica to Culver City, a lot of their tanks, they had to start over again. So they've only been at their new location for, I believe, a couple years. And just 
take a look at the growth that this tank has achieved in only a couple years. I mean, this is incredible. So obviously the owner is doing something right and he's pretty experienced. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> so when you come into Nature Aquarium, if you have any questions, he's definitely the guy to ask. But just take a look at this paludarium, guys. It's so beautiful. And there's so many different types of plants growing. It's not just like one plant here, one plant here. There's probably at least, at least 10 or 15 different species of plants growing in this one tank. And I just thought this one looks so cool. And this is an ADA tank as well. So uh, this tank has that low iron glass. So that glass is really clear. So you can just really appreciate all the beauty in this paludarium. Now, of course, I had to take a look at the regular planet tanks as well, because although I'm kind of more into paludariums now, I still love traditional planet tanks, and there was no shortage of them here at Nature Aquarium. This one in particular was my favorite. What I like about this planet tank is it has that frosted glass back. I just think that adds a whole new dimension to a planet tank. It, it really just adds a new effect, you know? But this tank, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at all these gorgeous plants. You got tiger lotus, you got Anubis nana petite, Hygrophilia pinatifida, uh, moss plants growing on the substrate, which is crazy. Uh, cardamom lyrata in the background. There's just so many different types of plants growing in this one tank and all kinds of really cool shrimp and fish. And they're all like nano fish. They're all really tiny fish. Well, I'm sure that one there will get bigger. I uh, can't remember the name of that one, but I know it'll get bigger. <laughs> but nonetheless, a lot of really small, cute fish in this tank. But I'm just, I was just amazed with the, the plant selection. And I was amazed with the aquascaping in this tank. Uh, this is honestly, I think, a tank that a lot of us that have been in this hobby uh, for a while hope to achieve someday. Or somebody that's just starting out hopes to achieve someday. I mean... I think everybody wants to achieve a tank like this someday. <laughs> I mean, this is really like the tank of somebody's dreams. I mean, look at, they got beautiful larger plants in there as well. I mean, just incredible. So this tank, as far as planted tanks goes, was my most favorite tank uh, here at the store. And I honestly can just spend hours looking at this tank. And it just gave me a lot of inspiration for future projects. Now, of course, this would not be a nature aquarium store if they didn't sell plants. And let me tell you, they sell plants <laughs> and they sell a lot of really interesting species as well. Uh, they don't really just sell like your typical, the typical aquatic plants that you see at most fish stores. Uh, here at Nature Aquarium, you can really tell that they're a specialty store because they, they, they sell a lot of the stuff that you typically can only find online like beautiful larger plants, Pogosima hill fairy, and uh, just a bunch of other unique stem plants. Um, the prices seem very reasonable in my opinion, and the plants seemed extremely healthy, and not to mention they were being grown in ADA soil. So you can just imagine the specimens you'll get. You'll get really healthy specimens, you know? Um, so they sell a lot of really nice plants as well. So if you're looking for a more unique plants, more plants, uh, plants that are out of the ordinary, not the typical stuff that you find at the pet stores like Luwegia and Jungle Vow, definitely come to Nature Aquarium because they got unique plants that you can buy in person and that you don't have to strictly order on the internet. Their selection of moss mats also just amazed me. A lot of these species of moss you cannot find in any store Pretty much you can only find these uh, species of moss on the internet. They had Fissidens, Fontanus, uh, Christmas moss. They had Weeping moss. They had that mini Pelia moss, uh, Fissiden nobilis. They just had so many different species of moss and spiky moss as well. And I was just so amazed that these were being offered locally at a, at a, a fish store. I didn't just have to buy them online. So... Go to Nature Aquarium if you want to buy these plants locally and avoid shipping costs. And also for those of you that are that prefer tissue culture plants, they had a really nice selection of tissue culture plants. And again, a lot of very unique species as well. 
So if you're in Culver City, California, visit Nature Aquarium. You will not regret it. They're located at 10028 Venice Boulevard in Culver City, California, zip code 90232. They're open 10.30 a.m. to 7 p.m., closed on Tuesdays, and 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sundays. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Have fun with your tanks, and I'll see you next time.